Hi and welcome. If you have a Zoom Handy recorder and want to use a condenser microphone, you need phantom power. In this video, I'll show you how to turn it on. If you've got a dynamic microphone plugged into a Zoom recorder, it'll probably record fine. But do the same thing with a condenser microphone and the chances are that the Zoom's audio meters won't move. The problem is that the condenser microphone needs phantom power for the mic's electronic circuitry to operate. Some microphones, like this Sennheiser ME66 condenser shotgun mic, can use an alkaline battery for power. But I can take that battery out and the mic will still work if it's supplied with phantom power from the recorder. Zoom portable recorders like this H4N can supply phantom power, but it needs to be turned on. But if you look at all the control knobs, dials and switches, none of them is for phantom power. If you want to turn it on, you need to do it in the menu settings. I'll demonstrate on that H4N. For the H5 and H6, the process is similar and I'll explain what to do. So let's get started. To access the menu, press the menu button on the side of the Zoom recorder. Then use a scroll dial next to the menu button to scroll down to Input. On the H5, you want to select In Stroke Out and on the H6, it's Input and Output. With Input highlighted, press the scroll button to change to the Input Settings screen. Scroll down to Phantom and press the dial button again to enter the Phantom screen. You'll see three options, Off, plus 48 volt and plus 24 volt. Most professional XLR mics use plus 48 volts, so scroll down to highlight that option. Then press the scroll dial to activate it. Finally, exit the menu by pressing the menu button twice. If you are using the H5 recorder, on the input stroke output screen, use the scroll button to select in one stroke two phantom. Then press the scroll button. Once in the in one stroke two phantom screen, there are two choices, on stroke off and voltage. Select on stroke off. And in that screen, you can choose to switch on phantom power for input one, input two or all. Choose the option you want. Press the menu button to return to the previous screen. Then select and go into the voltage screen. You can choose between plus 12 volt, plus 24 volt and plus 48 volt phantom power. Select the one that you want. To exit, press the menu button. The process is the same for the H6, except that the in stroke out screen is called input and output. And when you get to the on stroke off screen, you have a choice of four individual inputs or tracks, or you can turn all on or all off. A quick tip to save on power consumption is to check whether your condenser mic can operate on less than the usual 48 volt phantom power. If it can operate on the 24 volt setting, that will reduce the power consumption of the Zoom H4N recorder. With the H5 and H6, you can also have the option of plus 12 volts, assuming your condenser microphone can use it. With phantom power turned on, go ahead and record. When you're done, don't worry too much if you forgot to turn off the phantom power. If later you switch from using a condenser microphone to a dynamic mic, the phantom power shouldn't cause any harm to the dynamic mic. Most modern microphones are fine with being connected to phantom power. Since dynamic mics don't need phantom power, they should just reject it. The main concern is if you use vintage audio gear or ribbon microphones, in which case make sure you turn off the phantom power. To turn off phantom power, it's just a matter of doing the reverse of turning it on. On the phantom screen, use the dial button to highlight off, then press the dial button to turn off the phantom power. 
Then exit the menu by pressing the menu button twice. That's it, and I hope you found this useful. Please like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. It helps me make more. And to make sure you don't miss any new videos, hit that notification bell. Finally, you can find in-depth articles on my website, DIYvideostudio.com. I'll put a link in the description. I wish you well and look forward to seeing you again next time.